You're Riley, aren't you? Kate and I were really close. She talked about you so much. She... She was really proud of you. I guess you've seen some of what she was working on. Come on. We should get out of here. I know a place you can rest a while and... And then let's talk. Hey, I hope you got a little sleep. You know, I was thinking, we should head over to the library. You can tell me what happened on the way. God, that's terrifying. I really hope we find some answers in Kate's office. Come on, let's move. Okay, let's see if your aunt's key ring delivers. Listen, there's something out there. It's drawn to the tapes and it's very, very dangerous. Please be careful. I know this is going to sound super paranoid, but after everything that's happened, we need to be careful. We can connect on an encrypted channel with these. You go see what you can find in Kate's office. I'll keep watch outside. I'll call you on the two-way if anything comes up.
friends, I'm Amanda. Have you ever wanted to go far, far away? Well, we can. At least in our imaginations, we can. With my magic train. If you could visit anyone in the world, who would you go see? Do you really think you could do that? I'd love to daydream about all the places I could have been. Think about all the places we can go. Let's plan a trip. I've made pictures of all the places I want to go. But wow, it's so dark in here. Should I open the curtain or turn on the lamp? That's much better. Now let's plan that trip. There are three places I want to go on my magic train today. First, I want to see the Eiffel Tower. Where can I do that? We'll go to Paris first on the magic train. Huh, it looks like a ticket to Paris costs two coins. Let's see what I have in my piggy bank. What's the best way to open this piggy bank? I can pull out the plug, or I can smash it! <laughs> this is gonna be fun! Good night, Mr. Piggy! Count them together. One, two, three, four, five. I have five coins. That's more than enough for our first stop. We just need to take away two coins. Can you count them? The next place I want to go is very special because it makes me think of our friend Gretchen over there. Let's go to the Isle of Dead Dolls! Where can I find that? Our next stop is Mexico City! A ticket to Mexico City on my magic train costs three coins! Anyway, that ticket cost three coins, so let's take those away from what we have. One, two, three! Oh no, that's all our coins! And I still have one more place I want to visit. We need some more money. What are we going to do? I can sell one of these for some coins! Which one do you think will get us the most coins? You really think I can get coins for that old thing? You have really weird taste in toys. What's so funny, Mr. Rooster? Someone gave this to me when I was feeling really bad and scared, and it made me laugh. I hope he can go make someone else laugh. Wow, I got three coins for Mr. Rooster. Okay, let's see how much our next destination costs. I love learning about history on my trips. Where can I take a tour and learn about Jack the Ripper? We're going to London! A ticket to London is four coins, and I only have three. I don't know where I'm going to get more coins for my trip. I might as well not even go anywhere. Wait a minute. I have a coin in my pocket. Now I have four. 
floor. That's enough for our last stop. Oh, no, no, go away. Get this weirdo out of here. Wow, who the heck was that guy? He was going to take my coins. Good. All four are still there. Let's count how many we need to pay for the ticket to London. One, two, three, four. Oh, hey, it's time to catch my train. I guess, but I wish I really could go see the world. I wish I could still visit her. I love to daydream about all the places I could have gone. Think about all the places we can go. Let's plan a trip. I've made pictures of all the places. That's much better. Now, let's plan that trip. There are three places I want to go on my magic train today. First, I want to see the Eiffel Tower. Where can I do that? We'll go to Paris first on the magic train. <sighs> it looks like a ticket to Paris costs two coins. Let's see what I have in my piggy bank. What's the best way to open this piggy bank? I can pull out the plug, or... Ah, uh, you're no fun. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five. I have five coins. That's more than enough for our first stop. We just need to take away two coins. Can you count them? The next place I want to go is very special because... Our next stop is Mexico City! A ticket to Mexico City on my magic train costs three coins! Um, anyway, that ticket costs three coins, so let's take those away from what we have. One, two... Three! Oh no! That's all our coins! 
house, and I still have one more place I want to visit. We need some more money. What are we going to do? I can sell one of these. Let's sell funny Mr. Rooster. Someone gave this to me when I was feeling really bad and scared, and it made me laugh. I hope he can go make someone else laugh. Wow, I got three coins for Mr. Rooster. Okay, let's see how much our next destination costs. I love learning about history on my trips. Where can I take a tour and learn about... We're going to London! A ticket to London is four coins, and I only have three. I don't know where I'm going to get more coins for my trip. I might as well not even go anywhere. Wait a minute. I have a coin in my pocket. Now I have four. That's enough for our last stop. Oh, no, no. Go away. Get this weirdo out of here. There's always all kinds of stuff in the sofa cushions. Oh hey, it's time to catch my train! But I wish I really could go see the world. his little ears off. Great work! We're on a roll! Which toy should I put away next? Time for bed, Mr. Frog. One more to go! Let's do it! X 
Marks, marks the spot. That was a lot of work. Now I'm all set to get ready for bed. What should I do first? Brush my teeth or wash my face? Okay, which toothbrush do you think I should use? Nice choice! I love blue! Now, will you help me find the toothpaste? Is it in the medicine cabinet, the bathtub, or the toilet? Uh, I don't think it's in there. Why would you keep the toothpaste there? How did you get in here? Who even are you? Go away! A little help here, please! No! Now my teeth will rot out and I'll starve to death. Thanks a lot. I guess I'll wash my face. But what's the point? Well, I guess I'm all done in here. Time to put on my PJs and hit the sack. Which PJs should I wear tonight? It gets awfully lonely in here at night. It makes me think about what's happening. About things I really don't want to think about. I'm not even sure what's real. But I guess we all get a little scared at night, right? What are you afraid of? Me. You really think I'm scary? <laughs> Thinking about something you're afraid of can give you nightmares. Especially when there's no one around to help you think about nice thoughts. I try to be a big girl and sleep with the lights off. But it makes me feel so alone. What do you think? Should I just turn off the lamp and be a big girl? Or maybe you can find me a nightlight. Back soon. I'm a big girl who doesn't need a nightlight. I'm a big girl. That's not going to help me sleep. Can you please try to find me a nightlight? Please hurry back soon. Please, it's really scary in here when the lights are out. I need a nightlight. Please hurry back soon. Dolly, are you still out there keeping watch? Okay, good night. <gasps>
friends. I'm... I'm Amanda. Yeah, it's late. Time to get ready for bed. I guess I'll get ready by myself. Hey, wait. You can help me. Before I can go to bed, I need to put away my toys. My d told me once that it's always nice to have a fresh start in the morning. Let's see how many toys we have to put away. Can you count them? Try again. You can do it. Wow, really? A baby could count these toys. Which toy should I put away first? marks the spot. One, two, three toys to go. Let's put away another one. We better put him in his home before a hunter shoots his little ears off. Great work. We're on a roll. Which toy should I put away next? Time for bed, Mr. Frog. One more to go. Let's do it. Boing, boing, boing. That was a lot of work. Now I'm all set to get ready for bed. Checking in. Everything's still pretty quiet out here, but we shouldn't stay too long. Try to find those tapes, okay? What should I do first? Brush my teeth or wash my face? Okay. Which washcloth do you think I should use? Nice choice! I love lavender! Now, will you help me find the toothpaste? Is it in the medicine cabinet, the bathtub, or the toilet? Get in here. Who even are you? Go away! A little help here, please! <laughs> that freak tried to eat my toothpaste. Ugh, that's disgusting! <laughs> Well, I guess I'm all done in here. Time to put on my PJs and hit the stack. Which PJs should I wear tonight? It gets awfully lonely in here at night. It makes me think about what's happening. About things I really don't want to think about. 
I'm not even sure what's real. But I guess we all get a little scared at night, right? What are you afraid of? Wow, that sounds really scary. I bet you're trying not to think about it now, aren't you? Thinking about something you're afraid of can give you nightmares, especially when there's no one around to help you think about nice thoughts. I try to be a big girl and sleep with the lights off, but it makes me feel so alone. What do you think? Should I just turn off the lamp and be a big girl? Or maybe you can find me a nightlight. Please hurry back soon. I'm a big girl who doesn't need a nightlight. I'm a big girl who doesn't need a nightlight. I'm a big girl who doesn't need... Thank you. Good night, Riley. Isn't it nice to be a... And I'm Wooly! <laughs> Hi, I am... No, I don't want you here! Don't you get that? But Amanda, I'm your best friend! My best friend? All you do is get a... Hi, I'm Amanda! And I'm Wooly! Today we are working on a very special project! It's a project that will take a lot of patience. Patience is a very good quality to have. Patience is a very good quality to have. It means staying calm even when something or someone bothers you over and over again. Today, we are building a birdhouse, so more birds will come to the yard. Why are we out here before the sun is up? It's so dark outside. Well, this project is going to take a long time. Have a little patience, Willie. Well, I still think we could use a flashlight or something. I'm going to bump into something. You can go back inside if you want. You don't have to be out here with me. What's something you have built that took a lot of patience? Why would you waste your time doing that? I can't wait to see what birds come to visit. What's your favorite kind of bird? I like those too! Let's get started! The first thing we have to do is cut the length of the wood to the right size. What tool should we use for that? How would we cut wood with that? Right! We'll use the saw to cut the wood. Um, Amanda, shouldn't we have some kind of supervision when we're using tools? Thanks for the tip, Willie. Now let's cut that wood. You have to have a lot of patience and make sure you measure everything before you... Well, that was hard work. Okay, now we have to put the pieces together with nails. What tool should we use for that? I guess you could use that, but there's a better tool. 
Thanks for tuning in. It's your boy. That's right. We'll use a nail gun to attack the pieces. Pew, pew, pew. This project is taking a long time, and we have to do everything very carefully. What does it help to have? Patience! Come on, you've got this! That's right, patience! That's what I just said. Now it's time for some color. Let's paint the birdhouse. Okay, now what tool should we use to paint the birdhouse? Good job! This is going to be so pretty! <laughs> what the? Okay, this patient's thing is going too far! Get him to go away! Getting really sick of that guy. Come on, let's paint this birdhouse. Wow, that looks great. Now we just need to be patient while we wait for some birds to show up and use the house. Look, they're so pretty and their chirps are so quiet, so peaceful. Another activity that takes a lot of patience is hunting. Look at Miss Cat hunting the birds. She is being very patient. She's getting really close to the pretty birds, Amanda. Should we warn them? What do you think? Should we warn the birds or let Miss Cat keep going? Miss Cat and her family have to eat after Hello, all. Under the weather. Well, I'm Dr. DJ Brandon AM here to let you know I've got the key. Wow, Willie, great idea to warn the birds. <laughs> I didn't mean. And now nobody's using the birdhouse. We're going to have to sit here all day waiting for them to come back. That's going to take a lot of... Don't say it. Patience! <laughs> And I'm Wooly. Today we are working on a very special project. It's a project that will take a lot of patience. Patience is a very good quality to have. Patience is a very good quality to have. It means staying calm even when something or someone bothers you over and over again. Today, we are building a birdhouse, so much. The birds will come to the yard. Why are we out here before the sun is up? It's so dark outside. Hey, how's everyone hanging in Friendsdale today, huh? This is your local earworm, DJ Brandon AM, coming at you from the KND. Oh! <laughs> 
Oh, my eyes. Are you trying oh. to... For you, it's celebration of President's Day. If you've tuned in earlier, you might be... <laughs> That's right. It's the national anthem on Glorious Repeat. Only on KMD 97. Blind me. I can't wait to see what birds come to visit. What's your favorite kind of bird? I like those too! Let's get started! The first thing we have to do is cut the length of- Right! We'll use the saw to cut the wood! That's right! We'll use the nail gun to attach the pieces! This love lavender. Okay, now what tool should we use to paint the birdhouse? I think that would get pretty messy. Okay, I get it. The theme is patience. Very funny. Now, which tool should we use to paint the birdhouse? Good job! This is going to be so pretty. Ah! Ah! What the? Okay, this patient thing is going too far. Get him to go away. Amanda, how about a little patience? <laughs> Let's get cleaned up and paint this birdhouse. Wow, that looks great. Now we just need to be patient while we wait for some birds to show up and use the house. Look, they're so pretty and their chirps are so quiet. So peaceful. That's right, repeat. That's right, repeat. That's right, repeat. That's right, repeat. So let's hear old reliable one more time. You're listening to KND 97. Another activity. See how she stalks them slowly. She's showing a lot of patience. What a good mama cat. I think I'm going to be sick. And I'm Wooly. Today we are playing bandits. 
Come on, where did you hide the loot? Careful, or you'll break it. <laughs> Willie, you're a pretty boring bandit. Mm -hmm. Bandits hide all kinds of things in the woods. It's fun to go look for treasure. But you should probably tell someone where you'll... Never tell anyone where you're going. They might get to the treasure before you do. There's a legend that there is a special toy hidden deep in these woods. Which, which direction should we go to find the treasure? We can't go any farther south. Look carefully at the map. I think you're right. Let's go. Oh, I have a good feeling about this. Where should we dig for the treasure? Yes, that marking matches the one on the map. Let's dig. Great, here we go again. Seriously, who is that guy? Told you to be careful. Uh, now my shovel's broken. It's a good thing I always carry extra supplies. You never know what you're going to need on an adventure. <laughs> what can I use to fix my shovel? I don't think that will help. I only use those to. What can I use to fix my shovel? I don't think those will help us now, but I never leave home without them. I'd really like to fix this shovel. Good job! We can use the wood glue to fix the shovel. Okay, bandits, let's get to digging. Amanda, I don't have a shovel. Bandits should always come prepared. I guess you'll have to use your hands. Whoa. <laughs> we did all that digging for this? Maybe this was important to someone once, but not anymore. <sighs> Come on, Willie, let's get out of here. Uh, Amanda? A little help here? Are you still up there? Oh. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not done treasure hunting. I really thought we'd find something special and you didn't help me at all. So you'd better find something good for me. Do you have a treasure out there that will make me happy? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Time's running out.
I'm Amanda. Have you ever wanted to go far, far away? Well, we can. At least in our imaginations, we can. With my magic train! If you could visit anyone in the world, who would you go see? Wait, that's... I'd love to daydream about all the places I could have been. Think about all the places we can go. Let's plan a trip. I've made pictures of... Hmm, I think it would still be too dark. Why don't we try something else? That's much better. Now, let's plan that trip. There are three places I want to go on my magic train today. First, I want to see the Eiffel Tower. Where can I do that? We'll go to Paris first on the magic train. Huh, it looks like a ticket to Paris costs two coins. Let's see what I have in my pa- <laughs> this is gonna be fun! Our next stop is Mexico City! A ticket to Mexico City... What's so funny, Mr. Rooster? We're going to London! A ticket to London is for... <laughs> Wow, who the heck was that guy?
off, let's start the day. First, I need to make my bed. Will you help me? We need to fluff the pillows and smooth out the blanket. Which should we do first? So far, so good. Now let's fluff those pillows. Look how peaceful he is. He doesn't know about anything bad in the world. Thanks for helping me. It's nice not to have to do everything by myself. Every morning, I like to think about what adventure I might want to go on that day. What kind of adventure would you like to go on today? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm going to need my backpack for that one. Hmm, where did I put it? I don't think it's in there. You found it! I'm starving. I'm going to get dressed and I'll meet you in the kitchen for breakfast. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. What is your favorite thing to eat for breakfast? I don't like that for breakfast, but you do you, I guess. I usually have to make breakfast by myself. I'm pretty good at it, but today you can help me. First, let's pick a cup for my juice. Which one should I use? I love blue. Now, do you want to help me make bacon or toast? Okay, let's make some toast. What do we do first? Toast it, cut it in half, or spread jelly on it? I don't think we want to do that first. Great! Let's toast the bread! I love toast! It's so warm and... You again? Get him out of here! He ruined it! I'm going to have to start all over again! A day of adventuring calls for a big breakfast! Hmm, I don't know what to eat first. It all looks so good. I don't like that for breakfast, but you do you, I guess. I usually have to make breakfast by myself. I love lavender. 
Now, do you want to help me make bacon or toast? Yum, bacon's my favorite. Hmm, can you find me something to cook the bacon on? What's taking you so long? What can I use to cook the bacon? The refrigerator, the sink, or the stove? Nope, that won't work. Great! Let's make some bacon! Mm, I love bacon. It's so crisp and... How does he keep getting in here? He almost ruined my breakfast. Yeah. Time to make the rest of my meal. A day of adventuring calls for a big breakfast. I don't know what to eat first. It all looks so good. to we're going to uh, I don't know what we're going to do Amanda Amanda what do you want to do I don't care I don't feel right maybe doing something will make you feel better I already tried drawing some pictures but that didn't help what do you do when you're feeling bad? I wish I could. I feel like there's nothing left in me. <gasps> Amanda? How about an adventure? What makes you think I want to go on an adventure right now? Are you even paying attention? I feel weird! Leave me alone! Well, I'm gonna go on an adventure in my mind. You can come along with me if you like. Telling a story is like going on an adventure. 
What's your favorite kind of story? Th those kind of stories are too scary for me. No! Wow. I wish I hadn't asked. Okay, a story. Hmm. Once upon a time. Hey, why don't you help me tell the story? See if you have anything there that will help you follow along. Once upon a time. There was a brave knight. <sighs> it's okay. Take your time. Hey now, you can't rush perfection. Is that the choice you want to go with? Good job! There's our brave knight! Uh... Okay, let's keep going! The knight went to see a wise wizard who delivered a dangerous quest. Uh... It's okay, take your time. <laughs> Do you want to stick with this choice? Are you even listening to my story? Okay, moving on. Wait! They've helped me before. Give them a chance to try, please. The quest. There was a dragon that guarded many riches in a dark, faraway cave. Uh... It's okay. Take your time. How long is this going to take? Do you want to keep your choice? Ooh, scary. I like it. This story is boring. I think it's a fun story. Okay, let's see. What happens next? Deep in the dragon's cave, it also held captive a beautiful princess. The dragon threatened the princess with its fiery breath. Oh, won't someone save me, sobbed the princess. It's okay. Take your time. Is this the choice you want to go with? That poor princess. Uh, why doesn't the dragon just put her out of her misery? Amanda, I'm doing my best to cheer you up. What the? Those are my drawings, you weirdo! He's going to tear it! Stop him!
Uh, come on, Amanda. It'll be okay. Maybe finishing the story will cheer you up. Um, okay. Well, where were we? Oh, yeah. The knight rushed to the dragon's lair. There, the knight found the dragon guarding the entrance to its cave. The knight drew a sword and bravely faced the dragon. The dragon roared, but the knight did not back down. After a long battle, the knight delivered a fatal blow and slew the dragon. It's okay. Take your time. Have you made your pick? Wow! What a brave knight! Wow! What a creative story! Let's get to the grand finale! The princess emerged from the shadows of the cave. You saved me! She cried. She embraced the knight, and they traveled back to the princess's kingdom, where they lived happily ever after. It's okay. Okay, is that your selection? Could that story have been any more boring? Why did you even waste my time? I'm not sure if I want to tell stories with you anymore. That whole story was just a bunch of nonsense! Why did you even waste my time? I'm having a terrible day, and you made it even worse! Good for you. <gasps> Amanda? How about an adventure? What makes you think I want to go on an adventure right now? <laughs> okay, a story. Hmm. Once upon a time, hey, why don't you help me tell the story? See if you have anything there that will help you follow along. Once upon a time, there was a brave knight. <sighs> it's okay, take your time. <laughs> Is that the choice you want to go with? Once upon a time, there were a knight and a princess who loved each other very much. But one day, the knight had to leave the princess behind. Um, where did that princess come from? Let's get this story back on track. The knight went to see a wise wizard who delivered a dangerous quest. It's okay. Take your time. Do you want to stick with this choice? The princess went to visit a wise wizard. She asked the wizard to help her see her knight again. No, the wizard didn't talk to the princess. The wizard talked to the knight to give them a quest.
Okay. Moving on. Wait! They're trying! Please! The quest. There was a dragon that guarded many riches in a dark, faraway cave. It's okay. Take your time. Do you want to keep your choice? The wizard, being a bit of a trickster, transformed the princess into a terrifying dragon. That's not... I'm liking where this is going. <sighs> can we please try my story and then you can tell your own? Okay, let's see. What happens next? Deep in the dragon's cave, it also held captive a beautiful princess. The dragon threatened the princess with its fiery breath. Oh, won't someone save me, sobbed the princess. It's okay. Is this the choice you want to go with? In her new dragon form, the princess searched for her knight in hopes of reuniting. When she found him, the knight did not recognize her. She tried to call out to the knight, but only breathed fire. The knight slew the dragon, not knowing they were killing their true love. Oh boy, the knight is gonna regret that. <laughs> Where are you even getting these ideas? What the? Those are my drawings, you weirdo! He's going to tear it! Stop him! I thought today couldn't get any worse. Maybe finishing the story will cheer you up. Um, okay. Well, where were we? Oh, yeah. The knight rushed to the dragon's lair. There, the knight found the dragon guarding the entrance to its cave. The knight drew a sword and bravely faced the dragon. The dragon roared, but the knight did not back down. After a long battle, the knight delivered a fatal blow and slew the dragon! It's okay. Take your time. Have you made your pick? Right before drawing its last breath, the dragon transformed back into the princess. Horrified by what they had done. The sobbing knight embraced the princess's lifeless form. No! That's not... It's so tragic. I love it! Keep going! No, that's not how the story goes at all! There was a big battle! The brave knight prevailed! And then... The princess emerged from the shadows of the cave. You saved me! She cried. She embraced the knight and they traveled back to the princess's kingdom, where they lived happily ever after. It's okay. Take your time. Okay, is that your selection? Lamenting that they had killed their one true love, the knight resolved to wander the world alone, forever. Well, I tried. Wow, I actually feel a lot better after hearing that story. No! They helped 
me feel better. You knew exactly what I needed to hear. Thank you. And I'm Wooly. Today we are playing bandits. Come on, where did you hide the loot? Careful, or you'll break it. <laughs> Wooly, you're a pretty boring bandit. Yeah. Bandits hide all kinds of things in the woods. I think you're right. Let's go. Oh, I have a good feeling about this. Where should we dig for the treasure? Hmm, look more closely at the markings. I don't think that's it. Yes, that marking matches the one on the map. Let's dig. Oh, great, here we go again. Seriously, who is that guy? A little help here. Thanks for your help. That guy's gonna give me a heart attack. Hmm, maybe I should get him to come back. What? Let's dig. Okay, bandits, let's get to digging. Amanda, I don't have a shovel. Bandits should always come prepared. I guess you'll have to use your hands. Whoa. <coughs> 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 We did all that digging for this? Maybe this was important to someone once, but not anymore. <sighs> Come on, Willy. Let's get out of here. Uh, Amanda? A little help here? Are you still up there? Oh.
Actually, you know what? No, I'm not done treasure hunting. I really thought we'd find something special, and you didn't help me at all. So you'd better find something good for me. Do you have a treasure out there that will make me happy? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Time's running out. Amanda, none of this is worth fixing. I'll be the judge of that. 
You can't throw poor Blackbot away. Amanda, it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> anything it's nice to think so but we can't <laughs> I dare you to name one thing we can't fix my heart
and I'm Wooly. What's your favorite thing about where you live? Oh, that sounds nice. My favorite thing is how safe and cozy my neighborhood feels. Does it, Wooly? Yeah, I mean, m most of the time. Do you feel safe where you live? It's nice to tell yourself that, isn't it? Even places that look safe sometimes aren't. In your neighborhood, there are lots of things that can hurt you. There are people who can hurt you too. Um, Amanda, should we really be talking about this? And that makes it hard to feel safe. And sometimes, when we don't feel safe, we can make big mistakes. Amanda, can we please go home? Trust me, you'd rather be where it's warm and safe. You know, you have to really think about who you can trust. Who is someone you trust? Even places that look safe sometimes aren't. In your neighborhood, there are lots of things that can hurt you. There are people who can hurt you too. Um, Amanda, should we really be talking about this? And that makes it hard to feel safe. And sometimes, when we don't feel safe, we can make big mistakes. Amanda, can we please go home? Trust me. You'd rather be where it's warm and safe. You know, you have to really think about who you can trust. Who is someone you trust? Really? You know, I think I actually believe you. There are lots of people I used to trust, but I don't know if I trust anyone anymore. Amanda, you shouldn't go in there. I thought you said this neighborhood is safe and cozy, Wooly. It's really scary back here, Amanda. Sometimes it's good to go to places that scare us. You can learn a lot about yourself by facing something that scares you. That's dangerous, Amanda. There are other ways to learn about yourself, uh, like by having adventures with your friends. What's something that scares you? I don't want to talk about him! Some people think strangers are really scary, but I don't feel that way. Um, Amanda? You know, you were a stranger when I met you. Uh, to, to be safe, you should never talk to strangers. And I trusted you. Riley, I'm almost at the front door. I think that thing is following me. Amanda, I don't know what you're trying to do back here, but I really Shut don't- Shut up! Wooly. Okay, I'm in. We need to get moving. Sometimes I worry about trusting new friends, though. Maybe I'm not quite ready yet.
Did that thing do this? I'm really glad you're okay. Let's gather the tapes, quickly. I'll go grab what I can from the library, and then we've really got to get out of here. And I'm Wooly. What's your favorite thing about where you live? Oh, that sounds nice! My favorite thing is how safe and... Yeah, me too. Even places that look safe sometimes aren't. In your neighborhood, there are lots of things that can hurt you. There are people who can hurt you too. Um, Amanda, should we really be talking about this? And that makes it hard to feel safe. And sometimes, when we don't feel safe, we can make big mistakes. Amanda, can we please go home? Trust me, you'd rather be where it's warm and safe. You know, you have to really think about who you can trust. Who is someone you trust? I trusted her too. I wish I could still talk to her. There are lots of people I used to trust, but I don't know if I trust anyone anymore. Amanda, you shouldn't go in there. I thought you said this neighborhood is safe and cozy, Willie. <laughs>
Bakar. Good. You're okay. Let's do what we came to do and get out of here. Run. Hell, how long have you been cataloging these? Since I caught a sigil on the swing set in the background of the Let's Play Pirates episode. If I'd have blinked, I'd have missed it. But here's the thing, there wasn't a single reference until the acquisition. 
This is the complete log of all the references I can make out. And most of them are subtle, but they're there and lots of them. And usually paired with a message encouraging kids to uh, ignore their parents or, or do something harmful. Again, it's subtle. It's not something that's overtly dangerous, not in the context. And it's always under the guise of a new adventure. And you know this kid was also watching the show at the time of his disappearance. Mm, totally engrossed, his parents said, and then just gone. No police evidence? Not even footprints, trail and all? No, nothing. Like, he just vanished. That was over eight months ago. And now this other kid, Lauren, same story. So what's next? That's what we need to figure out. I mean, obviously, we can't say anything. It's a kid's show, for Christ's sake. We sound insane. But it's not. These are, these are not good lessons. Every episode has some very harmful instructions, and there's a thread of content that runs across all of it. References to Belial, to Mara, to Iblis. Every world religion has a figure that tempts and manipulates and deceives. According to Kate's log, in the last 20 weeks of this kids show, there have been over 40 mentions of these entities. It's alarming. I want to bring Peter into this, if you two are comfortable. This is really his area of expertise. OK, let's get him to review the episodes that you've already recorded. I will cut the meeting recording. How old is she here? About five. I can't even imagine. They provided two original tapes of the show, and they say there are more. Over the next few nights, I'm going to start combing those for more coded language. The puzzles, the anagrams, they seem to connect it to the cult. And based on what we have, I'm convinced that this is the latest iteration of the one Caroline's family's been tracking for generations. The information we already have about the group ties it back to a religion that hasn't been practiced publicly in damn near. So we're saying that this production company has been around since the Middle Ages? Is that what we're saying? Either that, or they were. So why her specifically, and why here? I wish we could get our hands on that contract. I think it would be. We don't even have any conclusive evidence that would suggest that she's still alive. But she's in there, Peter. I know she is. Whatever information Kate is getting is fragmented at best. And that's if it is actually Rebecca. It has to be. So I... no, Caroline. We don't know. We have to hit the pause button on this. We can't do anything that would give away what we're doing. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Are you in charge here? So what's the plan then, Peter? We just keep meeting and talking? What's our goal exactly? Look, I want to try to, Caroline, but we have to proceed with caution. We don't even know what state she's in. Or if we could even get to her. It's been almost 15 years. She might not even want out at this point. You don't know that. You don't either. Bottom line is, it's not safe. I mean, are we going to talk about David? Or are we just going to pretend I'm he's not waiting around? If they're coming for me, they're coming for me. She's made contact with Kate. But we don't even know that it's her. It is, but she's too volatile. That's the tricky part. We don't know where she's coming from. Okay, we've been working on this for 14 years. Please. This is a terrible idea. We should be lying low, not diving in. Right, you know what? This meeting's over. We're going to take a break, and we're all just going to come back when we can.
and you'll look straight into the camera here and smile. If I do this, you'll let me see her? We'll have to get clearance for that. But let's just say doing this will improve your chances. You know you just can't keep me in here. I don't know what you're trying to achieve, but people are going to be looking- Okay, I'm all set. We can go ahead with your statement now. Rebecca, honey, I am so proud of you. And, and I know that our, our friends are taking care of you while I'm away. You can, tr I'm not gonna tell her she can trust you. You've got me locked up in here and you want me to act like everything is okay? This is kidnapping, it's, it's, it's coercion. Just it's, say what's on the paper is okay. This is kidnapping, it's coercion. It's, it's, if you wish, one of my associates will gladly provide you with a copy of your signed contract. You agreed to this. I did not agree to lie to my daughter. Operation South Corridor, go ahead. This is going to take some time. Mr. Colton isn't exactly cooperative today. But I got something. I'll bring over the tape for editing. And you've recorded all proceedings? Still running. Can you send someone down to the lockup protocol? Copy that. What's your authorization number? <clears throat> Five, four, three. Alpha Tango Alpha 6 7. Security escort will arrive in 90 seconds. You have clearance to stop recording. All right, Mr. Colton. If this is how you're going to behave. We'll do what we can with what you gave us. Alice sat with her eyes closed, imagining she was still in Wonderland. But she knew that if she opened her eyes, everything would go back to normal. The instrument she heard would become grass, lowing in the wind. Rings of smoke from the caterpillar would become the ripples on the pond. The noise of teacups return into the sound of bells on sheep and the queen's loud voice would become a boy calling for the sheep. All the strange sounds she heard would just be animals in the meadow. Wow, what a fun story. Did you all like that story?
Let's thank Mr. Sam Colton for joining us this morning for a very special story time. Hey, you all may know a friend of Mr. Colton's. You can watch her on her very own hometown hit show on Kensdale's Public Access Channel. Do you know what show that is? Amanda That's right, my friends. Now, parents, on your way out today, please consider donating to the library's renovation fund so we can have even more great programming like we did today. Right, a major goal of the renovation is to create a special place for your little ones to read and dream in the very own Kids Corner with a state-of-the-art activity center and expanded selection for early readers. Now, remember, we can't do it without your support. That new kid's corner will open up a whole new world where your kids will be able to feed their imagination and fuel their own adventures. That's I right. can't wait to see such a special place come to life. Yeah. Thank you again, Mr. Colton. And I look forward to seeing every one of you back here Thursday for a special production of The Very Silly Groundhog by our friends at Blue Fairy Puppet Theater. Okay, bye. 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 <laughs> Hey, thanks for, thanks for filming again Bye. for the archive. For Daddy, did he turn off the camera? No, I'm, I'm about to. Yeah, I'll catch you later. Make Good to see you. I expect to see you at story time. Okay. Well, I'm a sucker for that Cheshire cat. Perfect. Yeah, give me what you got. Um, you know, I have to say, I just love seeing that connection you've made with the kids here. It's I love it. something else. You're my favorite jumper. Do you have a minute? Look at that. <laughs> Uh, this corridor isn't scheduled. Hey, 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 excuse me. Hey.
Yeah. I mean, m most of the time. Do you feel safe where you live? It's nice to tell yourself that, isn't it? Even places that look safe sometimes aren't. In your neighborhood, there are lots of things that can hurt you. There are people who can hurt you too. Um, Amanda, should we really be talking about this? And that makes it hard to feel safe. And sometimes, when we don't feel safe, we can make big mistakes. Amanda, can we please go home? Trust me, you'd rather be where it's warm and safe. You know, you have to really think about who you can trust. Who is someone you trust? Yeah, he was so trusting too. And that can be a mistake. There are lots of people I used to trust. But I don't know if I trust anyone anymore. Amanda, you shouldn't go in there. I thought you said this neighborhood is safe and cozy, Willie. It's really scary back here, Amanda. Sometimes it's good to go to places that scare us. You can learn a lot about yourself by facing something that scares you. That's dangerous, Amanda. There are other ways to learn about yourself. Uh, like by having adventures with your friends. What's something that scares you? Don't bring them up. Some people think strangers are really scary. But I don't feel that way. Strangers? Um, Amanda? You know, you were a stranger when I met you. Uh, to, to be safe, you should never talk to strangers. And I trusted you. I think I still do. Harry, I'm almost at the front door. I think that thing is following me. Oh. Not him again! What are you even doing here? Nobody wants you here! I just got in. We need to get moving. Can you even hear us? What is with this guy? Why have you been letting this stranger mess with us this whole time? Can we please get rid of him? What the hell happened in here? I'm gonna come check on you. thing do this? I'm really glad you're okay. Let's gather the tapes, quickly. I'll go grab what I can from the library, and then we've really got to get out of here.
Riley, please. Oh, God, I'm praying you hear this. Someone can get this to you. You can stay safe so I can protect you. Okay, please just don't watch the tapes. Destroy them. How could I possibly involve you in this? I'm so sorry. And I couldn't. <laughs> Everyone who's tried to figure it out, they're all dead. Joanne! Joanne is dead! She just... Please. I can't bear the thought of it. The letter I wrote, I, I was wrong. Riley, there is no higher calling. There is only suffering. Pain. <laughs> if you've never seen me again, just please listen. It was so stupid and arrogant to think we could beat them. <laughs> she wasn't ever ours to lose. She was already gone. I can't, I can't let you get lost too. Please. <laughs> I don't know what to. I, I am so sorry. She. Kate died because of me. My brother was one of the kids who disappeared. All I wanted was to find him. And someone came to me. They told me he was trapped and that the only way to free him was to smash the tapes. And I believed them. I brought you here to destroy these. I thought I was doing the right thing. The night she died, I went to your aunt's house. She'd been working so hard to find the truth, but all I wanted was to get Jordan back. I screamed at Kate to give me the tapes, and then... That creature. It was horrible. I pushed Kate out of there, begged her to run. I didn't want her to get hurt because of me, but then she... was protecting the tapes. We didn't know. Kate didn't know. And now I have led those psychos right to her house. They're the ones who burned it down. It was to destroy those tapes. I know it. I saw the letter she wrote to you. I know she trusted you to pick up where she left off. And I took advantage of that trust to bring you here, to find the tapes. I don't know if you can ever forgive me, but I do know that Hamlin needs to be brought down. I won't be their pawn anymore. I will do whatever I can to... right behind you. I promise.